What's going on everybody? It's the Bourbon Hunter. Welcome back at it. Thank you so much for buying my Cedar Ridge single barrel. We sold out almost immediately. It was so much fun. Thank you so much for your support. Also, interesting video today. Um, really cool challenge. My father, he just finished building a bar. If you didn't see him, he was in the last video, but he just finished building a bar and he wants me to help him stock it. So I have budget restraints, unfortunately, but follow me around town today as we go from store to store and find different bottles, different types of intricate and non-intricate and expensive and not expensive bottles to buy for a hometown bar. Let's go see what we can find. First stop for today is going to be Kusa Liquor and Wine. Now, those of you that don't know, this is like my favorite little honey hole. So try not to blow it up too much, but I always just stop in here and mess with this guy. He's, he's a super nice guy. What's up, Herschel? How you doing, man? How are you, How's everything going? Everything good. How about you? It's good. It's good, man. It's good. This your uh, Elijah Craig single barrel? Yes. You picked out 121 proof, nine year. How about that? Good deal. All right, let's go. You just got stuff sitting around here, just randomly on the wall of bourbon. <laughs> Look at all these. You got your bookers. How much are your bookers? How much are you selling them for? 114. 114? That's not bad at all. So a lot of people were commenting about this peerless high rise. I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it or not. I've never had one. And I know they're kind of expensive, but if you've had it, let me know because I'd I'd like to get one if they're worth it. Still has a uh, Vessi's pick here, hundred proof Vessi's pick. Pretty cool little local South Carolina product. If you're looking for some Charleston whiskey, single barrels are always better than not single barrels, in my opinion. Drop a comment down below on what distillery you want to see for the next barrel pick. I'm open to any suggestions. Just let me know. All right, so one of the best ways to start a home a home bar, and honestly, I'm not going to lie, this is a little taterish of me, but... So I feel like I've never really explained what a tater is, and a tater to me at least is a guy that only hunts very specific distilleries, either that be Buffalo Trace or Heaven Hill or something highly allocated. They only go for the allocated stuff. They, they don't go for any of the other generic stuff on the shelf that are really good bourbons, but at this point I think a tater is somebody that does all of those things and some of them don't open their bottles and some of them do, and that's the difference between a collection and a selection. I think. Buffalo Trace is a pretty good place to start for most people at most proof points and palettes. You know, I'm sorry, but I, I do think Buffalo Trace makes good stuff. As most people would agree, it's a good one to have on the shelf. Is it worth overpaying for? No, but it's worth having on the shelf. So this one liter bottle, this will definitely be uh, one that we're gonna keep for him on his home bar. And let's see what else. Herschel, how much are you uh how much you want for this blood oath? How much? 114. 114? Ooh. You gotta love blood oath and their presentation. I do know it's a little flashy. Um, finished in Cabernet and Merlot casks. Pack 10. It's pretty cool. 98.6 proof. So he is not a big, like high proof guy. So that might be a good one for me to think about. Let me, let me think about this one here. <laughs> I never know what I'm gonna see when I walk in here. <laughs> There's always just random stuff. Now he did mention for me to get him a tequila. And if, you, if, if you're not a tequila person, I'm, I'm sorry, but this entire tequila sh shelf all the way down is some of the best in town, especially these are really good too. So I might have Herschel, who is like the expert, help pick me out a tequila for his bar. All right, since you're the tequila man, what kind of flashy bottle should I be looking for? I see some flashy ones back there, but they're kind of not in my price range. He said, don't buy any bottle over $300. Yes, I got this one. G4 G4 Repo? You can't reach that, hold on, let me, let me get my long orangutan arms up here and grab that. Nice and easy. <laughs> so this is the this is cool. Yeah. This is really cool. Look at that. Does it need to walk on it? Yeah, sure. This is the real deal, bro. Whoa. Day of the dead. That's pretty freaking cool. Front door open. 
What's going on, man? How are you, man? Good. Question for you. Blackberry Crown. No. No? Out. Sorry, buddy. Yes, sir. No worries. So this is how much? 280. 280? That's in the price range. Huge Day of the Dead fan, my dad. So for the right price, a nice tequila on the shelf. I think he'll like this. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? He's going to love it. I mean, you're just selling me a bottle, so of no, course no, you're going to no, say no. he loves it. <laughs> yeah, cool. Package it up. We'll, we'll get that one. And then... If I wanted to sell you a bottle. This is what I was saying. Yeah, if you wanted to really sell something, you'd be selling one of those. That one is really cool. That is cool. All right, back to the bourbon. We have, obviously, his his pick. I think that's a little too hot. Um, Buffalo Trace, where I got one of those. What is this Remus right here? Remus Barrel Truth or Barrel Ruth or Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth, yes. I feel like a idiot <laughs> can you tell i can't recurse it <laughs> oh man 111 proof medley of three mash bills that's pretty cool that is really cool actually i've never seen that before it's new to me 189 dollars how much 189 189 wow i i don't know anything about those that could be great or i have no clue i really think for presentation wise on a on a home bar Blood Oath does a, Blood Oath really does do a good job for that. Um, just, you can present it like this. Everybody can drink a 98 proof bourbon. Especially when it's finished, it's a little sweeter for some people, so it's not as harsh. Um, especially for this price, that's going to be difficult to pass up on. I might, I might have to scoop this one right here. So we got this, this, and then this. Now Herschel. I don't know, man, I mean... I'm just, I'm just asking. I gotta be a bourbon hunter and ask. But do you have, do you have anything? Do you have anything special? Yeah. Hiding behind the shelf. Yeah. Can I take a look at what you got? Oh wow, that's huge actually. I already own one of these, but what do you, uh, what do you want for this? It's like fifty nine ninety. Fifty nine bucks, dude. That's a good price. I have one. I haven't even opened it yet, so I don't think I need one of those. What? Do you got anything else? Yeah. Oh, but which letter is it? Letter. That one looks weird. What letter is that? O? Mm. Blantons. Gotta check the dump date on these every time. And the dump date is 7 19 24. I'm sure that's special to somebody. <laughs> cool deal. Um, I have four Blantons right now. I just finished one last weekend for the first time in a long time. I, I, I appreciate it, man. I, I think I'm good, though. I think I'm good. All right. So, looks like we're gonna get this. Special. That's one bottle left. Herschel, no, dude. No, no, no wait. One. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, I, can I buy this? Yeah. I can. You supported me with all this. So. Okay. All right. How much do you want for this? If it's over three hundred, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm it's two sixty. It's a retail. Two sixty. Mm -hmm. All right. Chalk it up, man. We're. <laughs> all right, dude. No freaking way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no freaking way, dude. So I tried this in Florida and it was so good, but I, I have a hard limit on bottles. There's certain bottles that you finally get to try and you're like, I cannot, I, I can't pay more than 300, I can't pay more than 250, I can't pay more than 100 for blends, you know, stuff like that. This for 260, dude, you're the man, you're the man. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Dude, appreciate you, buddy. All right, we're going to wrap up here at Kusaw and we're going to go to the next store. Not every store owner in the world does that. Some store owners are just built different. They really are. Told you he was a great guy. So yes, before you give me too much grief, I did go to a Total Wine, but I needed to grab something from the other side. Decided to walk through the bourbon and rye section just to see what they had available. Look at this, Heaven Hill Grain to Glass. One of the few new releases from Heaven Hill. They have the bourbon, the rye, and the wheat recipe. And this right here was $120, and I bought it. The review is not so good. All right, we're here at Captain Jack's, and we're going to check out a few bourbons that they have. And I actually learned a little bit about this Baby Jane. It is a blend of Heaven Hill and Widow Jane distillate. So if you don't know, Widow Jane got purchased a while back 
by Heaven Hill, and this is actually a blend of some older Heaven Hill juice and some younger Widow Jane juice. Right there, New York and Kentucky bottled at the Widow Jane distillery, so super cool. If you haven't picked up a Widow Jane, you should definitely do so. They also got like the Rebel 100, so if you haven't had this, I mean for $20, this is a really good bourbon from MGP. Just good mixer, all around solid bottle to pick up if you're looking for some, you know, bottom shelf stuff that can be totally utilized. A124 for $65.99, that's a good bottle for a pretty good price. So I've noticed this store and a lot of the, you know, smaller stores in town, they have to, they have to really be competitive on their pricing because of the big box stores, right? You got Total Wines, you got Bottles Beverage, you got all these other big chain stores. But these smaller stores have to try and stay competitive because they have to sell a lot of other things to get allocated products. For example, they have a Buffalo Trace here. Limit one per person, very reasonable. And for a liter, $45.99. Now, my California viewers are gonna be like, oh well, my goodness, whatever. But for this part of town, this is a really solid deal. Don't have to look very hard. They pretty much have it once a month. You come in and, and grab one and you know, you pay a little bit of a finder's fee, but in all honesty, it's very difficult to find that kind of stuff around here. Basil Hayden 10, new label, new year, Basil Hayden 10, really like it. Love the look of it. Don't know if 80 proof is my jam, especially because I think that's close to a $90 bottle, but love what Jim Bean is doing. Putting out a lot more Knob Creek 12s, Knob Creek 18s, and of course, single barrel selects. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad bottle right here. 131 for $67. Really good bottle. If you don't like rye whiskey, I recommend uh, Jack Daniel's Single Barrel Rye. They're always very different and not extremely rye forward. So I don't know if you noticed, but Michter's came out with a toasted barrel finish. It is not barrel proof though. This year, 2024, it is a regular proofed Michter's toasted barrel with a little label right here on the bottom. I need to find one and try it and see if it's worth the uh, extra price, but I wish it was barrel strength because they haven't released these toasted barrels since I believe like 2020 or 2021. It's been quite some time. Y'all even have a little Blanton's up there. Little baby Blanton's. Ba baby Blanton's <laughs> and then limit one per person. Okay. Yes. Not bad at all. How, how much How much are these? They're $89.99 before tax. $89.99 before tax. That's really good, actually. That one is 49 That one's 49 The little baby blends. What is that, a pint, I believe? It's considered, I believe it's considered a pint, yeah, 375 Nice. <laughs> 42 dollars for, for the little baby yeah. little baby. We only usually get one or two of those. I, think that's I don't see them very often. I normally see, yeah. you know, those. But yeah, a lot of people don't have never seen them. I do. I'm working on my letters. Yeah, so I may have to, uh, I may have to purchase one of these because I I do have I think three letters to go, and I might be that guy that checks the letters in the store. If that's yeah, okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> a lot of people do. Oh boy, sounds like we're part of the problem, yes. guys. <laughs> Let's see. Funny is I can usually spot those people a mile away. I can see them when I get out of the car. Really? Is it is it, is it the them. bourbon shirt? <laughs> about the look. Something like, about their look. You're looking for that certain bourbon. Or when yeah. when they walk in the store yeah, yeah. and their yeah. eyes and immediately go the here top. and then they just look yes. and they look and then they walk out without saying yes. a word. And I'm like, hey, wait. Wait, we <laughs> got other things. You something, but like, you can't walk out of here without anything in your hand. We got other stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which letter is this? Okay. It happens all the time. It's just the bourbon world. Okay. Oh. Oh, my. It's an O. <laughs> I don't think I have an O. Well, I should go. probably write them down what I have, but I, so I don't yeah. think I have an O. So I'm going to grab this. And if not I have an O, them, then it's good either way. Not all of them that we got in had came in the box. So some were just in the Some box. didn't come with a box? Like mm. Well, I will take this. And then to support y'all, what can I get? All right, and just because I've never been to this store and I'm just gonna come and buy an allocated product, I'm gonna snag a Sazerac vodka as well today. 
to help support the store because like I said they they do have to buy a bunch of stuff and sell a bunch of fireball and other things to even get this kind of stuff so yes. we're gonna we're gonna grab some other things today all right Captain Jack's don't judge a book by its cover I mean you would never have guessed that they got multiple bottles of Blanton's Buffalo Trace at Eagle Rare yesterday they had Weller CYPB they had Weller foolproof and Weller 107 all for a very reasonable price and you would have never guessed that, that store mm -hmm. right there would ever have any of that stuff so that's what bourbon hunting's about on to the next shop random G bedded what I was 100% way too close to that freaking horn when it went off. I cannot hear out of my left ear. On to the next shop. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I would have never imagined. Thank you. I love that. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Everybody comes in looking for your allocated bourbons, don't they? They do, and I'm not, I don't think we've got it yet this, this month. We are. get it on Thursdays. So I just stopped into Wholesale Spirits. <laughs> uh, didn't even put my microphone on because she had two raccoons and a parrot in there. She had Blanton's and Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare. They had boxes of old fits, boxes of stags that were empty. Um, they, they get it from time to time. Now they're, you know, I don't think they're in the business of giving it out for MSRP just from the size of the shop, but overall <laughs> it's a heck of an experience to go check out at least because they got some cool animals in there. That'll be it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. We're sitting here outside of Creekfield Spirits drinking this Disco 12. Man, it's incredible. We got crazy allocated bottles inside. Check out next week for the full reveal on what we're going to get here. We got four or five people in line. Super excited to be here. Bourbon Hunter out.